Seven of Swords is here. And Eight of Swords. Wow. Seven of Swords going straight into the Eight of Swords. So this could be you who went through, you know, this situation. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy. Past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So seven of swords, eight of swords. Then towers here. So somebody that was at the seven of swords. Being very sneaky, deceptive, behind the scenes. Somebody that lies, they cheat, they steal. They do stuff to set people up and they think that they are smarter than different people and they get away with it. This person went from the Seven of Swords straight into the Eight of Swords and they're going through a tower moment. They're dealing with an overflow of bad choices. This is a tower that they don't see. They don't know that they're stuck. The Lovers is here and the Ten of Pentacles is here. This is someone that could have knew about a divine connection. Three of Wands is here. And they <clears throat> they made a decision based off of them knowing about this divine connection that you have with someone. And they knew that you and this person had a Ten of Pentacles. Three of Wands. They knew. They knew this and they made whatever decision to be sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. And they ended up getting caught. Yeah, Page of Swords is here. This person was being watched the entire time. Whatever they were doing, they were being watched. Page of Swords. They were being investigated. They were being observed. Yeah, Temperance is here. Yeah, and then Queen of Cups is here. So yeah, this person was being watched. They got caught. And it's like they were sitting back watching you. Temperance and Queen of Cups. They see you in this Queen of Cups energy. They see you as someone that's an earth angel. Someone that's very balanced. Someone that's very grounded. And um, they see you as someone that can balance out masculine and feminine energy. This person thought that you were someone that was sweet. It was like sweet. You were naive. This person can be sneaky at the Seven of Swords. And they could set you up and have you stuck. And it's like now they're at the Seven of Swords. They're caught. They're stuck. And they're getting ready to experience some type of tower moment that they don't see. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. This is, a, it's, this is like a new beginning. This could be someone wanting to take action towards you. They want to start over with you. Yeah, King of Swords is here. And then Ace of Swords. So yeah, whoever this King of Swords is, this could be literally somebody that works in the justice system. This is like an authority figure, authoritative like type of person. They're like, you know, a higher up type of person and they sit back and observe. They have sat back and observed something and they found out the truth, Ace of Swords clarity. Yeah. This is someone that could have been watching you as well. And then the chariot is here. Yeah, they found out the truth. And it's like you're on the chariot. You're moving forward. 
And then Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you're someone that's very abundant. It's like you're having a new beginning, you're starting a new venture, or you started over in life. Seven of Pentacles is here. And then the star card is here. Yeah, you're someone that, you know, chose to invest in yourself, Seven of Pentacles, and you chose to heal. The star card is here. You're someone that's a leader, a spiritual teacher. And you were someone that's chosen to do whatever it is that you do. And um, you've balanced out whatever it is that took place throughout your life. Whatever, whatever was done in a sneaky, deceptive way to try to have you feeling stuck. It helped you heal. It helped you grow. It helped you move forward because you were focusing on yourself. You were investing in yourself. You were balancing yourself out, keeping yourself grounded. That's how you were able to move forward. That's how you were able to have a new beginning. That's how you're able to be abundant. Five of Cups is here. Somebody is at the Five of Cups in regret because they're going through karma. And they want people to feel sorry for them, whoever this energy is. Yeah, the Hermit is here. This person is under investigation. Five of Cups and then Judgment is here and they didn't know. They were under investigation. That's how they ended up getting caught. And they're stuck. Three of Cups is here. This could be somebody's friend. Whoever this Three of Cups energy is, this could be somebody that's literally a friend of a friend or something like that. This could be multiple people. This could be a couple people. Three of Cups. It could be three different people that have been under investigation and they didn't know. They're going through karma. Yeah, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. These are people that did not want to be left out in the cold. They didn't want people to know that they were very low vibrational or something like that. And um, they were secretly like competing, doing a lot of stuff to cause conflict, chaos, and havoc behind the scenes, being very sneaky. Yeah, they were trying to sabotage a connection. And these are people that are, um, they've defeated their self and sabotaged their self. All because they didn't want to be left out in the cold. They could have found out about this divine connection. You and this person would come together and build a Ten of Pentacles. You and this person had answers. They could have thought they needed to be attached to this person, um, Ten of Pentacles. They were trying to attach themselves to this person's ancestors. Different inheritance and gifts and stuff that, you know, you and this person would inherit as y'all come in union to fulfill this destiny and this purpose. And they thought they were going to, you know, not be left out in the cold and they were buying themselves to you and this person's Ten of Pentacles and generational wealth. I'm so done. These are people that literally got caught up trying to, you know, stay attached or be attached to something that they're not attached to or a part of. I'm so done. Yeah, the strength card is here. These are people that are envious of how strong you are. They're jealous of your strength. They're jealous of your growth. That's why they were secretly competing with you. And this was a group of friends or something like that. Yeah, they're stressed out. Nine of Swords is here as they're getting exposed left and right. Yeah. They're having sleepless nights because they ended up getting exposed. A lot of people are talking about these people behind the scenes, and that's why they can't sleep at night. They've been exposed, and they didn't know. <laughs> oh, so the Yeah. Page of Pentacles is here. And then Ten of Swords is here. Yeah. These are people that literally, somebody exposed something that they did behind the scenes. If they did some type of betrayal or something like that, somebody found out some new information, Page of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. They found out, like somebody came to whoever this person uh, was trying to betray or pin down for harsh, painful endings. They went to this person. Yeah, it could be this King of Swords. Somebody went to that person and gave them some new information, Page of Pentacles, and they've gained truth and clarity. Yeah, the hangman is here. These are people that are wrapped up in some type of situation and they didn't know. It's like they're facing jail time or some type of prison entrapment and they didn't know. 
Yeah, this was destined to take place. The will of fortune is here. These are people that got caught up trying to be a part of something that they're not. All because they didn't want to be left out in the cold. So they figured that they would try to do something to try to have either you stuck or this person stuck that you have a divine connection with. And they didn't know that they were literally running up on you and this person's ancestors. They didn't know that they would get caught up the way that they're, you know, caught up. That's why they're stressed out. They're in fear of something. They can't even sleep at night. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is here. And then King of Cups is here. Knight of Cups. So yeah, this person, whoever this King of Cups is, they want to connect with you, Queen of Pentacles. They see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, someone that's loyal. This person wants to um, be in a commitment with you. They want to connect with you. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, this person have emotions for you, but they've been hiding them. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This person wants to connect with you because they want to be in a commitment with you. Yeah, this person wants to be in a marriage with you. This is your divine counterpart. This is the person that you're destined to be with. This is the person you have this divine connection with. And um, it was a group of people behind the scenes that have been under investigation being watched this entire time. This could be people that were close to, you know, this person. And these people are stressed out because they didn't know that whoever this King of Swords is had them found out the truth, whatever they were doing in secret. The moon card is here, whatever they thought, you know, would be kept hidden. I'm so dumb. Wow. Yeah, six of six of wands is here. And then ten of cups. Yeah. This person wants to come towards you because they hold you in high honor. They look at you as their ultimate happiness. This person wants to build a family with you. Yeah. This is someone that you're going to be successful with. Six of wands and then ten of cups. Nine of Wands is here. And then Eight of Wands. Somebody is sitting back nervous because this person is in this Eight of Wands energy. This could be, you know, somebody that sat back and wanted this person to be in a never ending cycle. They were doing stuff over and over again. Yeah, this person is still moving forward. Eight of Wands is here. This is quick forward movement. Whoever this person is at the Nine of Wands, they're sitting back nervous. They're feeling guilty about whatever they did because they thought it was hidden, but they did something over and over again because they knew this person would be moving forward. What they did not know is that they were caught. Yeah, everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. They were trying to create blockages for this person over and over and over and over and over again. Everything backfired. Equal give and take. It's like whatever you do, it come back on you. Yeah, justice is here. This person is literally caught up in the justice system some type of way and justice is being served. They didn't know that they were being watched. They didn't know that they were under investigation. This person could have literally tried to set you up. They wanted you to be stuck. They wanted this person to be stuck. They could have went and gave false statements on you and this person. And this investigator could have been sitting back watching you and they found out the truth. They could have found out you were set up or something like that. And they found out people were stalking you, watching you. Yeah. And um, these people did not know. That whatever, whatever they wanted you and this person to be investigated for fraudulently, they didn't know it would backfire seven of wands and they would be wrapped up in the justice system. Yeah, they did not know. These are people that literally pent their self down for harsh, painful endings, thinking that they would have you and this person stuck and y'all would never know. Y'all will be under some type of fraudulent investigation. All of him envy, hatred, and jealousy. Yeah, these are people that were trying to weigh you and this person down with baggage. Yeah, all because they knew about this divine connection. In fact, they literally went seven of wands, seven of swords, tried to set something up or set you up to be stuck. And they wanted you to go through some type of tower moment or something like that. They went through a tower moment with the lovers and ten of pentacles and did not know who you and this person's ancestors was. Yeah. 
They're at the Ten of Wands, pressure, burden, and weighed down. A lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh as they try to sabotage this divine connection. Yeah, the hair fine is here. And then Ace of Cups. Yeah. It's like this person is in love with you and they want to be in a commitment with you. It's like they knew that this person was your true love. They knew that you and this person would be in a commitment together. It's like they were reading some type. It's like if this person, uh, not, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, they read you and this person's fortune. And they the plan was to try to pin you and this person down for harsh, painful endings. Because they knew that you and this person would, you know, be at the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. You're this person's equal. They done got some type of communication that um, this was betrayal. Whoever this King of Swords is, this uh, authority figure, they found out this person was someone that backstabbed you multiple times in this person. It was like a setup. All because this person is in love with you. You're this person's true love. And this person was attracted to you, wanted to come toward you, take action toward you. They did something over and over and over again to block this person off. And it backfired. And they were playing with spell work. The moon is here. Yeah. And they were collaborating with different people behind the scenes. Three of Pentacles is here. Because they knew that this person wanted to collaborate with you. King of Wands and then Three of Pentacles. They knew this person was secretly admiring you. Page of Cups is here. Yeah, they they wanted to have you and this person in isolation and solitude away from each other and y'all would be at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take y'all would feel stuck these are people that got behind the scenes playing with stuff they know nothing about over their self and they didn't know yeah eight of cups is here it's like you hadn't already walked away from a confused mindset you could have knew as you're someone that's the star you're someone that's a healer yeah you could have knew you're someone that's woke spiritually. So you could have knew that this person was, um, you know, they were attached to somebody that was trying to do different stuff to you or try to have you stuck or trying to play spell work over you or was stalking you, watching you, gang stalking you with other people that there's a whole bunch of people trying to sabotage you because they're haters or was envious and jealous of this connection. Yeah, they were researching you and this person's destiny and not their own because they don't have a destiny or a purpose. Yeah, they're at the Seven of Cups in, this, in an illusion and a confusion. These are people that just sit back, get high, and get drunk, playing with stuff they know nothing about. Keeping their self in, in an illusion. Yeah, they were at the Seven of Cups as you were at the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah, the Sun card is here. Yeah, and happy. The Sun card is here. These are people that got exposed. If they were placing illusions around different people, they got exposed and they didn't know. Yeah, this was hidden. They thought this was hidden. But what they did not know is what was hidden was it is um, that they are under investigation. They didn't know this. That was hidden to them. Yeah, they didn't know the unknown cards. <laughs> They didn't know why a lot of people were holding back from them or something like that. Four of Pentacles and then the unknown card is here. Whoever this uh, King of Pentacles is, they could have been holding back from this person and they didn't understand why. Yeah, this was a cycle that needed to be completed. They didn't know that they were under investigation the whole time. They were just sitting back behind the scenes watching this person, trying to place some type of Knight of Wands energy onto them. And they needed to complete this cycle out because this person was someone who placed some type of spell work over them to get them to have sex with them. And it's like once that broke, they got behind the scenes and they got pissed off. They knew this person would be coming towards you because they knew y'all had a divine connection. And they had them been playing with spell work, getting readings, different stuff like that to try to do something over and over again to block this person off from coming towards you. And it's like they hadn't did something before to get this person to have sex with them. So they were behind the scenes just doing that over and over again. When that didn't work, this person was trying to throw stuff at you secretly. And they thought nobody would never know. Yeah, it's like whoever this energy is, Knight of Wands and then Queen of Wands. 
they literally thought this person would be under some type of sex magic. They would be in this Knight of Wands energy and they would be chasing them down for sex, attracted to them under some type of spell. Yeah, I'm so dumb. And they would be confused, attracted to them, in an illusion, Seven of Cups, confusion. Yeah, this person had to cut this person off, Queen of Swords, and they were at the Three of Swords, heartbroken, stressed out, and depressed. Knew who you were to that person and secretly tried to do something to set you up with other people behind the scene. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here, Two of Pentacles, and then the Devil. This person overindulged in toxicity. Nine of Cups, the Devil, and Two of Pentacles. They're always going back and forth, juggling. And it's like this person have overindulged so much to the point where they're struggling between thoughts and finances, trying to figure this out. They were overindulging in spell work, different things like that. And this person was used to being in this Nine of Cups energy. Happy, wish fulfillment. People were running around her like zombies and puppets and minions for this person under spell work. Yeah, and they would be at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth, not being able to see properly. I'm so done. This is what this person was used to doing to different people. Yeah, Four of Cups is here. This person is dealing with some type of insecurities and they feel rejected. Yeah, Four of Cups and Knight of Swords, they're pissed off because whatever they were sending out to you and this person, it was rejected. Four of Cups and Knight of Swords. They got that pissed off because the spell work was rejected. It didn't work. Yeah, in the past, Six of Cups is here. They were pissed off in the past because they couldn't get this person to have sex with them. You have to try to have this person under some type of spell. The magician is here. And then Six of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah, this person, this person had to sail away from this person and did not look back. It's like this person has started manifesting or standing up and taking control of their own life. And being the magician of their own life, they literally thought they had control over this person with sex magic, and it did not work. Yeah, Two of Cups is here. And then the Fool card is here. It's like this person could have literally found out about this journey, went toward a whole other direction, and they wanted to partner up with you. It's like they found out you were their Two of Cups. And this energy been sitting back behind the scenes ever since, trying to create blockages for this person so they won't come toward you. The Empress is here. They could have knew that you and this person were meant to have kids together, built together. Yeah, they were envious and jealous of that. They were heartbroken when this person cut them off. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles is here and Page of Wands. Yeah, this person, they were heartbroken. Because like this person wants to communicate with you. Nine of Pentacles. Page, page of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. You're someone that's single, self-sufficient, and abundant. This person is single. And they, um, yeah, they heartbroken because this person chose to be single or celibate or something like that. Yeah, the Emperor is here. This is your, this is the person that you have a divine. I was getting ready to say this is your twin. Four of Wands is here. Emperor, Empress, the Fool card, and then Four of Wands. It's like they knew that this person would be communicating with you. You're someone that's very single, self-sufficient. Yeah, and you're saving yourself for commitment. Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, and Knight of Pentacles. They were trying to slow this person down, and they had people helping them. They're trying to distract, to distract this person after this person put an end to a situation and went through some type of transformation. Yeah, they were working hard to try to distract this person after this person put an end to, you know, after this person cut them off. They literally got behind the scenes and this is all they were working on. I'm so done. This is sad. You at least expect a person to just put their life on hold, sit back and stalk somebody, watch somebody. This is because this person could have placed some type of lustful energy or sex magic to get this person to be attracted to them in the past and they had sex with this person. They ended up seeing stuff for what it is. They could have found out this person was playing with spell work and they isolated themselves from that person and that person was heartbroken. Yeah, because they thought they had this person under control, like control of this person's life, control of uh, this person being distant from you or something like that. 
They thought they had control of the connection. And it just did not work. All because they didn't want to be left out in the cold. There's someone that's very low vibrational. Yeah, this is sad. Yeah, Sneaky is here. This is someone that was very sneaky. At Seven of Swords was the first card that popped out. They looked at this person as someone that's stable. They wanted this person's stability. They could have wanted your stability. Yeah, you've changed. You're someone that has stability. You could be a Pisces. They're experiencing bad karma. And they're suffering in silence. This person sat back and wasted their time and did not know they were under investigation the whole entire time. And people that were helping this person. Yeah, because a cycle had been completed. And they knew that you were this person's new love. They knew this person would be gaining strength and this person would be growing after they went through a transformation. Yeah, this person had hidden motives. This person was a secret hater of yours that you don't even know. Yeah, they're experiencing sleepless nights. You're someone that's celibate. This person could have chose to be celibate. Yeah, after seeing things for what it is. Aquarius is here. You could be Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. And then the truth is here. This person got exposed. It's like not only did the, were they under investigation and they got exposed, but um, this whoever your divine counterpart is found out the truth. Yeah, they found out this person was somebody that was a liar. This person did whatever they did because they were experiencing some type of financial lack. So they could have lied on you, tried to set you up in some type of way. And um, yeah, because they were dealing with financial lack. They did not want to be left out in the cold. They didn't want this person to leave them alone, like not buy, like be attached to them. It's like before this person um, could have, you know, been in the energy where they had this person come in, have sex with them, and they would get this person to give to them financially and they got that desperate but yeah this person is a drug addict addictions is here they, they wanted this person to feed their addictions yeah they did this because they wanted this person's stability scorpio is here you could be an uh scorpio that person could be a scorpio and then right path is here they knew this person would be getting on the right path yeah, after they got exposed. This person got exposed and they were doing a lot of manipulation behind the scenes. Yeah, this person found out you were their twin. You could have tried to warn this person before all of this took place. You warned this person about spell work. Spell work exposed and warning. And this person could have knew. You know, that you warned this person and they got pissed off. They got behind the scenes and they tried to take it out on you. How dare you warn this person? This was a hidden enemy that you didn't even know. Yeah, you don't know this person. This is someone that do not want to work. Whatever they did, it did not work. They were working on their self and they did not know. Yeah, they caused a lot of negativity in their life and different people that they're attached to. Yeah, this group of haters. These are haters. Jealous friends is here. These are people that were jealous friends because they knew that you and this person was true love. They knew that it was true love, you and this person. Y'all had a y'all have a destiny, y'all have a divine connection. And it's like it was just a whole bunch of people that were jealous. They got behind the scenes with the same um motives, hidden motives, out of envy, hatred, and jealousy to try to sabotage the connection. They did not know that you were someone that was protected. Yeah, private investigator is here. Somebody had been watching them the entire time and they didn't know. I'm so dumb. Yeah, communication is here. Oh, wow. You have communication. Very intuitive. You're someone that's very intuitive. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Taurus is here. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Bystander is here. And federal case. 
They didn't know that they were wrapped up in some type of federal case and they got exposed. They were being watched the entire time. Yeah, they've been being researched and they didn't know. Researching this here, everything backfired. As they had them set back stalking you and they watched your growth. Yeah, you could be a Sag. One of these people could be a Sagittarius. Libra is here. You could be a Libra. One of these people could be a Libra. Yeah, learning lessons is here. These are people that needed to learn lessons. It's like they're still learning lessons as they were sitting back trying to create blockages for you and this person. That person was learning lessons after you had to warn that person and they weren't woke. Yeah, you warned them about this betrayal. Yeah, karmic justice is here. You have powerful ancestors. These are people that got exposed and they did not know how it was yet because they knew about this twin flame journey way before you and this person did. And they were placing spell work over this person the entire time because they wanted this person to give to them financially. Feed their addictions, different stuff like that. Yeah, but this person ended up walking away. Yeah, there was a lot of trickery in black magic. They walked away because they found out about whatever trickery took place behind the scenes. And these are people that were playing with black magic over them. The same stuff that you had exposed. Yeah, they don't have anywhere to go. Whoever this person is, they don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, this is someone that's a gold digger. They got pissed off and mad because you're someone that's a role model. You help this person reevaluate their life, reevaluate the situation, seeing things for what it is and paying attention to their surroundings. Yeah, Capricorn is here. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Balance is here. You're someone that's balanced out. This is also equal give and take. Yeah, and you've healed. Yeah, Stalker is here and Karmic Friend. So this person have a karmic friend that um, could be a Capricorn and they were sitting back stalking you. They've watched you heal. They they see you in this temperance energy. Yeah, they're experiencing bad karma as they're sitting back watching you. Yeah, they cause deception. Out of jealousy. They could have been working with this person, whoever this Capricorn is, and they were desperate. Because they knew that you were this person's love interest. Yeah. You're someone that have le le lessons learned. You learn lessons. This could have been somebody that you were attached to. Whoever this karmic friend is. They could have been a friend to your to your uh, twin. You could have knew that person. They were desperately trying to um, create blockages for you with that person. And they're out of jealousy and they're experiencing bad karma because they wanted to have you stuck or feeling stuck. Yeah, they were stalking you, watching you, spying on you. Now they're sitting back at the five of cups in regret. Yeah, because they're under investigation. They didn't know they were under investigation this entire time. I'm so dumb. Yeah, they created obstacles for their own life. And it's like they need to move on. <laughs> yeah, reconnecting is here after they try to block your love life. Wow. I'm so done. This is sad. Yeah, Aries is here. You could be an Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. And then Leo is here. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. Enlightenment is here. Yeah, it's like this person got enlightened. And these are people that ended up getting caught up as they were constantly getting tarot card readings to spy on you and this person. It's like they were getting readings and then sitting back spying on you and this person the entire time. Yeah, because you're someone that's an influencer. You set boundaries. Hidden emotions is here. It's like they knew that this person had hidden emotions for you and they're sitting back panicking. Yeah, because this person realized that they were on the wrong path. With whoever these people are that they were attached to. 
whoever these karmics are. Yeah, that are very needy and codependent. And it's like whoever, yeah, you're someone that's very happy. Whoever you um was attached to and you cut off, this person is someone that um you were on the wrong path with. They were very needy and codependent. They're sitting back panicking because you're happy. You've set boundaries. And they found out that you, this whoever this person is, is your true love. Yeah. And they were trying to use children. To try to have you stuck, whoever this person is. Yeah, this was a karmic masculine that you were attached to. You started loving yourself. Because that they were only dimming your light. It's like this person is in regret because you love yourself. And they were sitting back stalking you and they're in regret. They didn't know they were under investigation. I'm so dumb. This is sad. You at least expect people to sit back and they waste their time, waste their life. But they're learning the lesson. They have to receive the karma, the same karma or same stuff that they're putting out, negativity. They have to deal with that tenfold. These are people that are blinded from the truth. They don't even control the energy that they walk in as they walk in devil energy and not their own. These are people that have been defeated their self a long time ago and they didn't know. Yeah, denial is here in the reverse. And then purpose is here. Yeah, they couldn't get you to deny your purpose. You know what you're here to do as this denial popped out in the reverse. And then purpose in the upright. You know what you're here to do. Yeah, you choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Humor is here. That's why happiness popped out. You're someone that's very happy. Yeah, you gained your strength back. The strength card is here. Yeah. <clears throat> After walking away from whoever this toxic person is. And this is the same thing that your twin did. This is stuff that they needed to do. Stuff that they needed to realize that they were attached to. Negativity. Envy. Hatred. Jealousy. That was keeping them stuck and blocked off. Yeah, from growth. Growth is here. It's like this person wanted to expand their consciousness and their awareness. And that's how they found out you were their twin. Happiness is here. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. You're someone that's happy. You choose to focus on the lighter side of life. You made this person want to do the same. Self-esteem is here. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah. You built your self-esteem up after walking away from whoever this energy is that was a karmic masculine there in regret and whoever this person is that um, your twin was attached to. They needed to build their self-esteem up. These are people that were draining you and this person. Yeah, discipline is here. You disciplined yourself because you know you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. Nobody could tell you different. services here you feel good when you can help others and then the death card is here you put an end to a situation in order to start something new i am learning that endings are merely beginnings yeah guilt is here i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so it's like your twin what i'm getting is that your twin was helping this person and they didn't know this person was placing spell work over them. They were confusing them, different stuff like that. And the death card is here. They needed to put an end to that situation in order to start something new. In order to have changes coming in because they were feeling stuck. They were constantly going through blockages, taking losses as they were attached to whoever this energy is. That was secretly placing spell work over them. You could have been in the same energy, being attached to a person that's very negative, and they were secretly doing sneaky and deceptive stuff behind the scenes, and you didn't know. You were experiencing blockages. You were taking losses. These are people that were sent to stop and block you and this person from this divine connection. And, um, yeah, your twin was in guilt. 
Because after you warned them, it's like they didn't know. Once they got woke, they're releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in their soul's growth. Yeah, regret is here. I know that I cannot change the past. They were in regret. They couldn't change the past. And they were in regret for not believing something that you said. If you exposed this person that they were attached to for playing with spell work, they didn't believe you. Because they weren't woke. It's like this person needed to learn their own separate lessons. They could have ended up getting sick. The health card is here. As they were attached to this person that was playing with spell work. Yeah, and it says, I I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Balance is here. Yeah, this took place because this person needed to balance their self out. Get more grounded. And then envy is here. Somebody is envious and mad because um you've changed. You're someone that's very balanced. You're someone that's an earth angel. You're someone that's peaceful. And they're just watching you in this energy. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. These are people that chose to sit back and watch you and keep their self stuck. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah, empathy is here. Now they want people to feel sorry for them as they sit back and try to place some type of illusion and confusion around a lot of people. Empathy and then imagination is here. They literally wanted people to feel sorry for them. After, as they sat back and did something over and over again to cause confusion, now they want empathy. Yeah, gratitude is here. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. You're thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. You're thankful for getting spiritually woke and seeing stuff for what it is. Your twin is in the same energy. They were in regret for a while. Because they didn't believe something you said. Success is here. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. They realize that, you know, if they don't love their self, how will they be successful? They have to start with them. Showing their self some love. Not, you know, being, not being tricked by people that are very toxic. Yeah. It's like they felt they were in regret for not only not believing you, but not seeing stuff for what it was in the past. Yeah, but it's like they're accepting responsibility for their well-being. Blame is here. They're accepting responsibility for what they have allowed as they were blinded from the truth. Those were lessons that they needed to learn. Yeah, about relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So they were learning different lessons about relationships, being attached to certain people. And then freedom is here. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. They needed to set their self free in order to be happy. From a relationship. You as well. You could have been in a relationship with someone. You needed to set yourself free in order to be happy. You've done that. These people are behind the scenes pissed off and mad. Envious. Just sitting back watching you. Because you've changed. You've healed from whatever you had to went through. They're watching this person. They've healed. They've changed. Yeah. And all they see you is as, 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 you know, Ace of Pentacles starting over. Starting a new venture in life. And they're not a part of that. These are people that thought that they, you would be blinded from the truth. This person would be blinded from the truth. Y'all wouldn't know which way to go. Y'all would just be, you know, indecisive, unsure about this divine connection. This is how thirsty and desperate these people were behind the scenes. And it's just sad. Yeah, they thought y'all would feel isolated and alone. And y'all, they would place magic over you and this person. Y'all would be running back to them for sex under uh, spells. I'm so done. Yeah, grief is here. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. These are people that are sitting back grieving the loss. Of not being able to try to have control over you and this person with manipulation and trickery and spell work. I'm so done. Yeah, forgiveness is here. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. These are people that literally um, want your forgiveness or something like that. Or your twin wants your forgiveness. Because they didn't believe something you said. Yeah. Failure is here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. 
So they want your forgiveness. They feel like they made a mistake. Yeah, surrender is here. I can release my need to control. And then perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So whoever these people are that thought that they were controlling something, they're realizing they never had control. You're someone that's very positive and um, you're positive minded. You can do whatever it is you set your mind to. Nothing can tell you different. You have control of your own energy. These are people that thought they had control over your energy with spell work and they didn't know they were controlling their own energy to be at the Eight of Swords. That's it. Yeah, honesty is here. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So it's like this person, they didn't believe you, whoever your twin is. And um, they could have believed other people that they were attached to, different stuff or, you know, lies that were told to them. And they were sitting back doing their own research. Now they're realizing that they can't expect the truth from everybody else, but they can expect it for, for, from their self as they sit back and observe. Yeah, acceptance is here. I, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So they're seeing stuff for what it is. They're accepting that. They cannot change other people. They cannot change being lied to. They cannot change that you warned them and you spoke the truth and they didn't believe you. These were lessons that they needed to learn. Yeah, patience is here. I accept that, the, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah. As you're on a divine path, they needed to accept that everything happens in divine order. They needed to get woke. It's like whatever you were saying to this person, they were at the two of swords, indecisive, not being able to see properly, not being able to make a proper decision because they were not woke. And they ended up going through some type of karma, some type of judgment because they didn't believe you. And this is what made this person, you know, be able to see clearly. This is what made this person stand up and um, be in this energy where they were literally like, you know, researching, getting spiritually woke their self, finding out that you were their twin. Yeah, it's like this person could have literally got more in tune with spirituality as they didn't know anything about it. They ended up going through some type of karma first. Right after you had to warn this person. And this is something that they didn't even expect to go through. Yeah, pride is here. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And then love is here. You were showing love to this person. And this person could have been in this energy where they, they felt like they were too good to believe whatever you said. Or they were just blinded from the truth, being stubborn. Something like that. And they ended up going through some, some bad karma. Not knowing that whoever that they were attached to were the people that they needed to free themselves from that were blinding them from the truth. 